prior to needle scaling. After needle scaling. Next, we're going to apply the muriatic acid and then the rust cutter, and then we'll paint. Time to apply the ancient Chinese secret formula. <clears throat> 20 minutes or half hour later this is what you'll have 
There may be some spots to reheat with the secret sauce, but that's okay. That's only step one. The next step after this will be to put the actual rust converter on. And they say to do several coats of it. And then you're free to paint. Prime and then paint. First coat of the rust cutter is done. I stopped right about here. And you can see what hasn't been done. So it even looks good just with the rust cutter all by itself. Uh, I've seen where it sometimes turns the metal purple and it didn't really do that here. Uh, it kind of made it a uh, gray white look to it. Maybe the second coat will make it look a little bit more purple, but it's working as expected. The back hitch plate is a little bit different. It was very rusty this morning, which that's what you want. Uh, this stuff does not work on bare metal. You want to have rust on the metal and you can still see it's quite orange still. That's okay. We'll do a second coat on there and should get uh, should turn a little bit more dark. And here's the other side. This side was done longer ago. I just finished the other side so it looks really black and this side obviously has dried more and it's turning white. The bottle says that this may happen with the white and it says you can just wipe it right off and then prime and paint. So I'm going to do one more coat of this stuff and then I'll prime and paint. And one other thing, the one word that comes to my mind whenever you apply this, you apply it with a paintbrush, is intentional. You have to be very intentional whenever you put it on because you want that um, rust cutter to really get into all the, the pores. And you can see it changing colors and you can see it soaking into all the pores in the, in the metal. So you have to be very intentional with it. Second coat of rust converter is going on. I misspoke earlier in this video. I said that the stuff I was putting on first was the rust converter and it's not. That's not the stuff that turns the metal purple. This is the rust converter will do that. So on this side there's one coat of rust converter on here. Wow, it's too bright. There's one coat of rust converter here. You can see where I kind of trimmed with the second coat. And then this is the second coat. It kind of goes on milky and foamy. About 20 minutes it'll dry black just like this did. The bottle recommends two coats. So I'm putting this on. It's been, I don't know, probably sitting here for about an hour. And I'm putting the second coat on. And then after this, then you can paint it. I believe the bottle says you don't have to prime it. So you can just go ahead and paint right over top of this if I recall correctly. But it looks good, I'm glad I did this. It just makes the back of the truck look a whole lot better. Then with the new lights, it'll look good. And finally all painted. This was just a quick rattle can. But you can see how nice this turned out from the needle scaling. I mean, when you compare what that looks like to this. like a brand new truck in the back. <laughs> and the hitch plate turned out really good. There you go. Looks nice. I'll put the lights back on and she'll be good. And there it is all finished.
painted. Got the lights working. Very nice. I'm happy with the way it turned out.